despite your name calling, I'll answer your question. There is not a single condemnation in all of the Bible of premarital sex. There is a mistranslation in the New Testament of the Greek word porneia into the old English word fornication, which does in fact mean premarital sex. Okay, let's pause that real quick. That is not a mistranslation in any way, shape, or form. No. The word fornication in its original use in Old English does mean exactly what the Greek word means. Now, in a societal use framework, in the way that it's ultimately developed into its shorthand use in basic conversations, when I say the word fornication, that's usually going to be thought of sex before marriage. But in its basic English old English format, it means sex outside of marriage. Right. Um, and so that's why you have to understand that it's not a mistranslation. There's not really any modern translations that even use the word fornication any longer. So he's kind of setting up a straw man argument here. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you have a few thoughts before we jump back into the clip. I do have one, and you you really address the big one, where a lot of times people will use the phrase sex before marriage, yeah. and then people will throw in, you'll see this in the comments of videos, right? And it's like, well, it's not sex before marriage if you don't get married, right? That's <laughs> the, and, they, and they think that that's the slam dunk. But really, you're just you're just beating up the straw man, right? Because that word fornication and really the entire sexual moral ethic in the Bible is sex outside of the confines of marriage between a man and a woman yeah. is fornication, sexual immorality. Yeah. The word in the Greek that's used there is porneia. Yeah, Where um, we get but the word also, pornography from. Exactly, yeah. we get the mm-hmm. word pornography from this word porneia. Um, but also this uh, this word. In Jesus' time, when when Paul is writing this word in his works to Greek people and Greek people who had access to the Old Testament retranslated into the Greek, Mm -hmm. the chapter that we see God's standards for sexual morality in Leviticus chapter 18 in the Greek New Testament or the Greek Old Testament was called the Pornea Code. So you had uh, this entire code that was widely known as the Pornea Code. And so when you use that word Pornea, people understood what you were talking about, that you were referencing these yeah. guidelines, these strictures that God had established as these acts are not sexually Except, moral. Yeah. 